Thursday and through that... My name is Marty Bass. I've been a weatherman here in Baltimore for almost 10 years. Now, sometimes I can be kind of funny. I got out to the airport and they pointed to the plane and said, that's what you're taking out to the mountains, and it said Braniff. I got a million of them. Okay. And sometimes I dress for a classy image. It still sounds like ducks under attack on the eastern shore. However, on April the 23rd, 1986, my TV image changed. Suddenly and quietly, I went from this to this. Over 700 calls came on that first day, and thousands of encouraging letters rushed in. There were headlines from the Middle East. I'm news around the world, but I just want to be Marty Bass. It all started when I went to my hairstylist and good friend Phyllis. Obviously, things had gone too far. Phyllis knows hair, and she told me so many times. People are ready for you to do this. People are just ready. They've been waiting. And you've been waiting. I know you've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. Yeah, it's more comfortable, but I still wasn't sure. News anchor Jerry Turner and fellow weatherman Bob Turk understand the pressures of a TV image. A great look, I'll tell you a great look. A great look, you old brother. Samson, <laughs> Elvis, those men had hair. The old Samson, the yeah, old Yeah, the old Samson, well, the new Samson, whatever. But oh, they're all dead. You know, I'll, I tell, know, you I know. Know, I'll tell you a great look. Sam Sneed, you know, the world's greatest golfer. I mean, uh, Telly Savalas. Marty could get himself a sucker and he could be yeah. famous like, uh, you know. Well, I, I got to give him credit for honesty, but I still say hair makes the man. Uh, maybe not. I will tell you something. I have been in this business 117 years, and That's I will true. tell you, honesty is the best policy. Well, I agree, honesty is the best policy, but I think after 10 years, it may just be too much of a shock for our viewers. No, I don't think so. Marty, get rid of the hair. 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 It was a tough decision with many sleepless nights. Hair, no hair, hair, no hair, no hair. Well, maybe hair. I don't know. I don't know. People are ready for you, Marty. Do it. Do it, Marty. Do it. Do it, Marty. Do it. Do it, Marty. Do it. Do it. Martin, keep your hair peace. It keeps your head warm. You look nice. Everyone thinks so. Keep the peace, Martin. Dump him. He's a freeloader. Who needs hair? You look better bald. Don't be a whip. How you gonna do it, Marty, huh? How you gonna do it? Don't be a wimp. Don't be a wimp. Don't be a wimp. How am I gonna do it? How am I gonna do it? No? No? I tried to throw it away. I threw it in the trash can, but it kept jumping out of the trash can. In, out, in, out. It was a nightmare. And fire couldn't get near it. It kept blowing out the matches. No matter what, I couldn't set fire to my hair. <laughs> Weird dream, huh? Awake the next day, I knew what to do. I couldn't end a 10-year relationship with Fido, my hairpiece, suddenly on unemployment. For Fido, I thought retirement. I thought R&R. &R. I thought Fort Lauderdale, please. Piedmont flight 397 service to Fort Lauderdale, making a special warning at this time for passenger F. Bass. Adios. Bye-bye, Marty. See you spring break. Hi, babe. I felt tired, but it was a good tired free at last, and who knows, maybe one day there'll be others. I'm Marty Bass. Thank you. Thank you.